This tutorial will give a brief introduction to the program Pepacura. Once starting the software, begin with opening a 3D object saved on your computer. This can be an object you have previously created in another software, or one downloaded from the internet. However its polygon count and complexity will affect the final outcome. Pepacura works best with low polygon simple objects. When opened the 3D object is displayed to the left of the screen. Pepacura will automatically give you a series of different options, to ensure that the object has been successfully opened and is positioned correctly. Follow the on-screen instructions selecting the options applicable to your object. Check that your object has been successfully opened into the software. Any alterations to the object itself, cannot be performed within Pepacura. Once you are happy that your object is opened correctly you are safe to progress. Press the unfold button at the top of the screen. Ensure that the auto box adjacent is not selected, this will allow for more control over the finished article. And to the desired size you want your object to be when fully constructed. This can be done either to a specific height measurement, or to a specific scale of the original object. Once finished the unfolded pattern of the 3D object will be visible on the right side of the screen. You can adjust the screen layout to give more room for working on the pattern, while still having the object shown. If you examine your 3D object you will be able to see that the shapes, seams and splits of the flat pattern are now visible on the object. Right clicking on the mouse will bring up the 2D pattern menu. Select join face. Green lines show a joint edge that can be split by clicking on it with the cursor. Opening the 2D menu and choosing Select and Move, will allow you to rearrange your pattern in the workspace. Click on a piece and move it to a new position. Ensure it does not overlap with other pieces of the pattern. When a flat pattern piece is selected it is highlighted in red on the 3D object. Select Join in the 2D menu. Red lines in the 2D window, shows edges which can be joined together. Clicking these edges will cause them to join. Open the 2D menu again and select Rotate. Points become highlighted on the pattern. First click a point to act as the pivot point to rotate around, the second point selected is used as a lever for movement. Following these basic functions will allow you to create flat patterns from 3D objects which can be printed out and constructed into physical objects.
Thank you for watching this tutorial.